Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and of course a lot of people are asking me what is telemetry? You've been mentioning telemetry, telemetry and I'm just wondering what is telemetry in Windows 10? What is it all about? And of course um, the Windows telemetry, this is a feature that was very controversial. Uh, the Windows telemetry is something that in 2015 when Windows 10 arrived made a lot of people start going nuts and saying, oh, well, okay, that's it. Microsoft is snooping on us in many ways. Now, telemetry isn't something new. Um, people went crazy on Windows 10, but I'm sorry, Windows XP and Windows Vista and Windows 7 also had diagnostics data that would go back to Microsoft. But it wasn't just very uh, open, so you didn't really see much happening and, and know about it. Windows 10 was the first OS that really put it in your face that it existed. So telemetry has to do with um, information. It's data that comes out of Windows and is sent to Microsoft. Now you're going to say, what, my personal data? No. Are they snooping on my files? No. There's, uh, you know, they, they see what I do on the web and so on. Mm, depends. <laughs> so you see here I'm not a no uh, here it becomes less clear so exactly what do you have first of all the settings for the diagnostics and feedback for the telemetry that you're sending back to Microsoft to find it you simply need to go to your settings go into privacy and on the left side you'll see diagnostics and feedback okay that's the first thing you need to know most of the telemetry is sent from here but it's not just here apps that you have installed uh, the core apps of Microsoft will have their own telemetry also so it's kind of complex to deal with it telemetry the data that's sent back to Microsoft is what's coming from what's called the connected user experience and telemetry component within Windows it's there to identify security reliability issues, analyze and fix software problems, improve the overall quality of Windows and related services, uh, and to make design decisions for the future, design changes. It's not unique to Microsoft, by the way. And there's really nothing very secret about it. So, uh, you know, if you have a smartphone, if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android phone, you also send out telemetry. It's not unique to Microsoft and to Windows 10. Um, how does it collect this? Well, it collects this by uh, chunks of data and it will actually send all sorts of activity diagnostics events. So, um, each data transmission are very small. The uh, average size of telemetry sent are chunks of one, around one to two kilobytes. So you see it's very small and basically it's all sorts of things that are happening. So basically you've got um, the different information about security first of all. So security is you know everything all right uh, your patch level where are you with all the updates um, you know is the Windows Defender working well um, you have health information so if you have crashes because crashes just to uh, be clear aren't always visible you don't always have a crash in your face when something crashes in Windows sometimes things crash in the background without you ever noticing. You never notice that it's actually crashing, but it did. And Windows might crash in certain of its components without you even knowing. That information, of course, is held and sent in that telemetry. Um, of course, your usage, the way you use Windows, the apps that you might be actually using, um, that information might be in there. Uh, it's not to snoop on you once again. It's really to have an understanding of what you actually are doing on your computer. Um, 
there's two settings you see here full and basic basic limits a lot of the information and technically you have no real snooping except just the crashing what is the performance level and some basic information about the apps you're using full will send more information not just the apps you're using but the way you use the apps full might have personal information for example if you're on the web you are in uh, a very very sensitive website well if there's a crash or there's information the snapshot that Microsoft does in Windows with full telemetry on might include the information in RAM memory that might contain all that information about what you're doing actually so if you are on a website that's sensitive it might be in that um, you know that information that they actually took when they had the snapshot of RAM memory it's all in the way of trying to help out and, and we gotta hope that it's that there's been a lot of check about what information is being sent out and how sensitive that information can be for the most part it actually has been um, okay I mean there's no real bad things that came out of some of the experts that did look into what the telemetry was all about in there but of course you might want to actually choose basic if you want to have minimize also uh, so they know what you know who I am and what I do No, this is sent in a anonymous way your computer is not identified they don't know it's you they can't you know you can't call Microsoft and they're gonna say oh yeah well the chunks of data we have we know it's from you no they can't they don't have that information it's anonymized as we say that means it's sent and done in a way with a big chunk of data that they just see that you know there's some PCs with a certain setup a certain usage but they can't take that data and actually trace it back that it's your computer they're not snooping on you no Microsoft does not remove software that you have installed it does not detect and remove pirated software for those that do use pirated software these are all fake news that a lot of people have been actually uh, propagating about Windows 10 so that's what the telemetry is all about if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching